Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello, children of Productive Day in Cappy Land. Enough that I will actually go have fun tonight because I woke up at like 8. I started running at 9. Ran 2 hours and then had a good day. Now I'm caught up with a lot of things. Uh, dear Cappy, <clears throat> the popular opinion on approaching women at work, including from Red Pill community, seems to be don't shit where you eat. And I think this does guys a disservice. The fear is palpable and seems to have existed even before me too. Years ago, I remember walking out with a coworker talking about whether he talks to the girls there, basically an office park where you see lots of hot, well-dressed girls strutting around all day. He said, nah, man, I don't mess around with none of that here, apparently regardless of who's employed by whom. The old RMG was pretty unanimous in this, with one host even saying, dude, approaching girls at work has got to be the most little beta bitch thing you could ever do. I, don't, I disagree with that. Um, because it was common. I know several of my buddies' parents who got married because the dad met the mom at work. It's kind of, it, it, work is like school for adults. Like you, you met your girlfriend in the middle school or the high school or whatever. You met a bunch of gals in college. Well, that all ends and then you go to work. Well, that's where you spend most of your time. Hell, it was very common. The secretary would end up be, you know, uh, be the lawyer's wife or the dental hygienist would be the dentist's wife. I mean, it was, it wasn't like, oh my God. Um, so it's not necessarily beta bitch. Anytime you ask out a girl, that's not beta. That's alpha. Um, although, kind of, <clears throat> there's some rules. And you guys, like, if you're like me, every guy's broken the rule. You ask the waitress out or something. You, you, th that's dumb because they're kind of compromised. So I can, I can understand that. But um, no, back in the day... Uh, no, the most little beta bitch thing you could ever do. Uh, no, well, get, come on. We, it's uh, fundamentally, it's all right. There's no nothing morally wrong with it, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> but that's not the world we're working in today. Um, I am missing something here. Do you know how busy I am? I imagine people think of the incel D and D Magic the Gathering playing basement dweller, or that golem character from Lord of the Rings screeching about his precious who might say, all right, I've got these girls cornered here at work. Now they have to give me the time of day. I don't know if it's that as much as it's like, well, they're there. It's convenience. I don't think like you've, they can always say no. Uh, so uh, I don't see, I don't think you got them trapped. Yeah, that would be a problem. If you're talking about non-autistic dudes who chase excellent, are driven, fit, competent, and reasonably be attractive, my question is why the hell not? Well, I'm going to explain why the hell not here in a little bit. Borrowing a line from one of your videos, I'm not sure these guys understand how numbers work. I've got to sleep six to eight hours. I work at least eight. I'm on the road just under an hour each way. I need to go to the gym. The time simply isn't there for um chicka um chicka um chum clubs. The protocol for an acceptable workplace approach has always been a guy would gingerly, I don't know about gingerly, gingerly ask the girl if she'd like to grab a drink after work one day, even as part of the group. If she declined, he knew to never ask her again. <clears throat> that is about the only thing you can do. And even then, I'm going to recommend you don't do it for reasons we'll get to here later. But yes, and usually most of your sexual harassment policies at work will be, you can ask once, but if she complains, you can't bother her again. Because I'm sure there are probably some girls that would like to be asked out. That seems perfectly reasonable. I can't see anyone even today having to worry about sexual harassment as long as he only asks once. Eh. In a friendly way, then never ask again if declined. If she can't make it but is still interested, she'll volunteer another time. If she gives a flat-out no with no alternatives office offered, he should take the hint. I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking along these lines. Before me, too, a buddy of mine was giving an attaboy to a guy he witnessed asking a girl out in the cafe food court style place in our office building. The girl had replied, that's really nice, but I have a boyfriend, which she doesn't have. And if they do, the boyfriends go away in about two weeks anyway. Something has occurred to me partly for being busy as fuck, partly from noticing that during business hours you are seeing these girls at their best. I'm also at my best during these hours. This is peak presentation time. Good observation, I think, for both genders. That, that's a good observation. I would concur. 
is the only time where I'm going to be wearing a slick tailored black, black suit, trendy tie and cufflinks with uh, shoes, per, uh, clean shaven, definitely cologne. I should be able to walk with corresponding confidence. I only see attractive girls during weekday business hours in the condition that I'd even want to approach for that matter. See, that's where you got to train your eye to see the cute girl in the running pants. Like you got to train your eye to see beautiful girls who are not, if they're not done up. You got to look for real beauty. Um, and I, I, I'm really good at that, if I may pat myself on my back. But I've always been able, like, running around the lakes and I'm like, that girl's cute, you know. Because you, you can't. The girls aren't wearing heels and dresses all the time and being pain in the ass. <clears throat> I pass through the lobby of another building to get to my car after work. On my way in today, one cute short-skirted girl in at least three-inch heels is coming out of the same glass door and looks over at me as if she's heading out the outer door. And as I turn to come in, another short black-dressed girl in sexy heels is walking up to the door I'm using to leave. I pass at least two to five other examples just by crossing the street from my parking building and my work building every day. Why waste it? If they're not working with you, if they're not at your company, by all means, knock yourself out. I mean, this is one of the few advantages of working downtown. He's got all these different employers and, and the hotter ch uh, chicks and the people who work downtown. Uh, so, yeah, go ask them out. Just don't do it at work. I'm going down hallways these days doing everything I can com from k taking double takes or triple takes, sometimes failing. These office girls have got me feeling like a horny teenager again who just started noticing girls. I'm much more apt to ask a cute, impeccably made-up, short-skirted, suited, three to four-inch heel, long-haired, straight, late 20s girl how her day's going at the coffee counter in the lobby of my building or in the hallway coming out from the office suite than I am trying to run down a girl who's in a wife beater gym shorts and flip-flops with no makeup and hair pulled back on a hot Saturday in my neighborhood. You're going to have to do it, man. You got to see that. You got to see that beauty. You got to see that inner, no, not inner beauty. You got to see that natural beauty they got. It's like the business hour weekday environment we've set up today is all about presenting yourself like it's a meat market, but then acting appalled if anyone so much as brushes against that topic. Well, that's called a nightclub. That's what nightclubs are. Friends have given me shit for asking out women in basically every social situation where I could pull it off. But they're wrong. They're wrong. I'm, Dude, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. I'll never slam on someone for approaching a girl. I might critique your approach. Uh, <clears throat> Lord knows we've all had bad approaches at times, but uh, I will never give anyone shit for asking out women. Uh, no. One night I was at a local spot I like to go to and a server I didn't know well but wanted to was just shutting me down with one word answers. I left it alone. My buddy said, dude, why are you trying to game girls at the place you like going regularly? My response, what have you left with us? You've already taken everything else away from us. Work is out, sexual harassment. The apps are out. Day game, you're a creep. Maybe they'll just get arrested in other countries. Has happened or banned from malls. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can't... You, you gotta... You can't be harassing women all the time. Like that guy dressed like... And it's obvious that's the only thing you're doing. Gyms. Oh, no, don't do gyms, man. Gyms for everyone. Cute girl smiles at me, says hi. There's 10 celebrity late night interviews, Exo Jane and Jezebel headlines. Guys, please stop hating us on the gym. It's annoying and creepy. My own apartment building. I'm routinely sharing an elevator with a thin upscale professional, late 20s, 30s, I'm honey, getting my mail at the same time, walking to our cars. Perception is not, man. You don't want to fuck that up. You don't want to be the guy who's asked all three to four neighbors and got shut down. If you hook up, it could go sour and, and you still live there. Don't shit where you eat, man. Meetups are out. The admin group, I use a lot of. It's not a hookup group, guys. Apparently, some guys had the gall to actually make small talk with some of the girls in it. What, is, what are meetups for, then? I, I really want to know. The bars are 95% dudes, couple of free getters. Cappy, there's got to be a better, more nuanced answer than just lifetime ban on speaking to women where you work. Come on, a girl seated, seated sat next to me at work? Even if she... A girl seated next to me at work, even if she's putting out the signals, probably not a good idea. But a girl I've seen several times in the hallway who doesn't even work directly with me, or even my division, strangers waiting in elevators in the building where my work parking garage is. Since I asked your ask out reception, oh, you asked for the ask out the receptionist video. <clears throat> oh, you like my ask out the receptionist video, even though that wasn't about a coworker. I thought we need more discussion like that. I feel like guys need more to go on than don't shit where you eat. Please let me know the price. I'd like a video response. I'm going to keep you anonymous. All right, look. You are right in every regard philosophically. You should be able to ask out a girl any place, any time. As many, not as many times as, but as many girls in it 
Um, if you're starting to ruin people's shopping experiences, I could see where, okay, you're that one guy at the mall, and okay, now you're going to scare away, because they got to make money. They want women to shop, so I can understand that. Um, <clears throat> but you are right on a philosophical level. But we don't deal in philosophy here. We deal in practicality at Axel Consulting. And the new rules are, man, that you'll get in trouble. All right? You'll get in, in a, a ton of, and it's not like you're going to get in legal trouble, although I guess you could get arrested now at a mall. Um, what it boils down, when they say do not shit where you eat, it's the where you eat part that's very important. Your work is the number one thing you need in life, man. You need money to live. That's it. And if you all of a sudden get let go or it gets reprimanded or there's something on your resume or a record that you were accused of sexual harassment at work, <clears throat> that is going to ruin the rest of your income. So I absolutely agree with your colleagues, not to mention the HR director and your boss, that you do not ask out girls at work. You just don't. Uh, maybe 20 years ago even it was all right, but now especially, you're going after young 20-somethings or late 20-somethings. No, they're trained. They are trained to be, like, if you asked a girl out, that would be an, a, a sin, not, not assault. Uh, it'd be harassment. It, it, oh, you asked me, I, I'm trying to think, it, it'd be like sticking your dick in the punch bowl. That's how they're trained. Forget how it should be, forget how it was in the past, forget how many uh, happy, successful marriages is where, you know, Bob in accounting met Susie in marketing, and hey, okay. Um... It, that's that's not the world. We don't live in shoulda land. And if this is like the mall, okay, fine. You got kicked out of a mall. All right, because you were bothering the girls there in the shopping and, and you're just running day game. <clears throat> well, then you don't go to the mall, I guess. Oh, work? You kind of need work. You need work. Um, it's, you know, what else? Uh, asking the, the waitress out at the bar, I've always kind of had a, I understand, it's like, come on, she gets hit on all the time, but it's like, yeah, but none of them work more than, than six months there anyway. <laughs> so they eh, play it by feel. But if it's your local neighborhood bar, no, that's where you eat. You got your buddies, that's your social network outside of work. That's your neighborhood bar. You don't bother those girls like that. Um, what else have you listed here? The gym? Oh, no. No. <clears throat> no. Do not ask no. You go to the workout. You don't get it. Um, Meetup groups. Uh, I, I, I understand that you should, meetup groups should be for socializing and, and potentially meeting a romantic partner. I don't know why that would, but if, if they're all of a sudden like, this is not a hookup place, it's like, all right, fine, then don't go to that. If you're looking for girls, don't go there anymore. Um, yeah, I wouldn't go to the bars. 95% dudes, couples, and free drink getters. Uh, you say there's got to be a better, more nuanced answer than lifetime ban on speaking to women where you work. No, that is. that. There is no more nuanced because work is critically important. You know, it's like you're out there in space. Like, should we fuck with the engines? No. No, do not fuck with the engines. You need those. Should we fuck with the, with the life support system? No. No, you should not fuck with it. Can we fuck with the pool heart? Okay, fuck with the pool hall. Okay. Oh, you broke the pool. Q. Oh, darn. <clears throat> our, our trek across Star Trek will we'll just go without pool. Um, so, and then where you live, that's another one. Um, not not romantically, but even I've had to like, okay, this is my neighborhood. You don't want to piss off your neighbors. You know, just good neighbor etiquette. Very friendly, very nice. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if I would ever be single again, I wouldn't shit where I ate. Uh, yeah, I've even thought about like, God almighty, if I were to ever be single again, I don't think I'd date in the entire state that I'd be living. <laughs> I'd be like, um, because I, I, I like where I live. I don't want to mess it up. It, because, and, and your friend's all right. Okay, fine. Let's say you don't get a sexual harassment charge against you. You don't get HR in there. But it, you break up with that girl now. Now you got to see her all the time. And, then, and this is where before Me Too and HR and all that, this is the real reason you didn't shit where you eat. Because all the gossip and the politics and all that would inevitably ruin it anyway. I know academically or theoretically it shouldn't ruin it. It shouldn't spill over into work. It does. It's a royal pain in the ass to see the girl that, you know, 
that was there and then she went on a date or two with you and then she never went on a date with you again. <clears throat> or you had a torrid love affair, uh, but then she wasn't for you and then she hates you and now she's backstabbing you and she's deleting your files on the share drive. Oh, Lord knows what happens. Dude, life is tough enough. Don't make it where the place you make your money and you mine your gold is tainted or gone, right? And then other key aspects like where you live, where you work out, um, that's where, yeah. But, you know, this is, and you're right, you can't go to the boom chicka boom bars, you can't go to the bars that says, so what you gotta do is you gotta run your day game, you gotta meet girls in public, and they just can't be at work. And I know, man, it sucks. It's gotta suck. I remember doing it, like in college, like there'd be a cute girl here, you know, cute girls all over the place. And man, I'd get my ass shut down, but I was a good salesman. Got tons of dates. Um, God, you know, ballroom dancing, meetup groups that are specifically where men and women meet. <clears throat> There's like the singles meetup group. Boy, isn't that, I bet you that day is coming now because I go on meetup a lot. Say, oh, what's going on? Is there anything I'd be interested in? Ton of singles in the 20s, singles in the 30s. I bet you the day is coming that they'll have the singles in the 20s and the singles in the 30s groups on meetup and like, this is not a place to meet women. And I'd be like, then why the fuck are you having this? Uh... So yeah, man, it, it, it sucks. I mean, that's how hostile and toxic the environment is now. I, you, you can ask girls out in public. You know, you're going to your restaurant that you like to go to, or you try a different bar, or there's a girl just walking down the street, and it's, I don't know. I mean, thank God I'm out of it, man. I don't care. I'm, I'm kind of out of it. But yeah, you, you got to go up to these gals in public now, you know. And don't like sit there on a corner sniping people. You go about your normal day. You go to Walmart. There's a cute girl and like, hey, Bobby, blah blah blah. Or this guy, you know, there's the there's the uh, receptionist that he had his his medical appointments at. Uh, maybe I don't know. It, it, <laughs> you're, you go to the local fair and there's a cute girl and say, hey, you want some popcorn? And then. Uh, it sucks. I know it sucks because uh, I was there at one time. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I got to stick with all your friends and your buddies. You do not shit where you eat, especially work. And, and the gym, don't mess up your gym membership, man. Don't don't go there um, to meet girls. Just, just don't. Eat. And you got to also understand women are trained now that if you approach them or proposition them or ask them out or whatever, I, I really wonder if it's like, oh, is that harassment? Is this is this assault or not assault? Is this, uh, I guess harassment is the, the technical legal term versus, oh, is this guy just hitting on me <clears throat> and asking me on a date? You know, that, I really wonder. And you want to go after the 20-something girls? Well, I got news for you. They are conditioned, like this guy hit on me. That's oppression, da-da-da, or... Is it just a dopey guy hitting on you, asking you on a date? <sighs> yeah, I, I would, you know, go to the dog park. Babysit your nieces and nephews. That's the, If I ever had to go back, that's what I'd do. I'd go borrow some nieces and nephews. Come on, we're going. And then, oh, yeah, this is mine. And then, oh, yeah, it, it, it works great. Get a dog. Rent a dog. Rent a dog. Um, but, yeah, man, you're not. Don't. Do not ask out girls at work. Do not ask out girls in your backyard. Do not shit where you eat. I wish I could give you like an out. And, uh, no. No. There's too much writing. God almighty, right here. Dude, Pence Principle. Randy Bentwick. Read this book, man. This this is basically... <clears throat> you think, what's the worst that's going to happen? Read this. These two guys ended up going to jail for rape they didn't commit. And they were there for 30 years. They were exonerated, thank God. But my God, the, I mean, we all know about... Um, what's this gal's name? The Quanta, ha ha. Um, Blasey Ford. But he goes through a lot of other instances, some of which we've heard of, like the um, UVA, the fake rape accusations in college going on and all that. Uh, it's worth just reading that so you could see what the fuck. You should, for the whatever, eight bucks it costs. You should read that book. So you understand the fire you are playing with and what can happen. All right? So I'm sorry. No, you're not asking on any girls at work.
All right, questions, answers, every all the links down below. Go to assholeconsulting.com. Why? The world's only professional asshole will answer your questions as long as you have money to give me. Uh, we got all the podcast links. We got all the links to my books. We got the links to the Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on the YouTubes. We're almost at 10,000 Twitter subscribers, so all right. I, nothing happens at 10,000. I don't think anything happens at 10,000. <laughs> I think they just abbreviate instead of 10,000, they just say 10K. I'm like, woohoo! All right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.